Okay, well the next type that we're going to look at are the basic zonals. Now, I have to confess that the, some of these basic zonals I didn't actually stop in the autumn, so I think I've got a lot of growth that I'm going to have to cut off of this in order to completely reshape the plant. It's a little bit oblong, um, so I'm going to have to really do some work on this one to get this into a nice rounded shape and a nice stop shape to enable a nice balanced growth around it. So I'm going to make a start on that. Um, it's the same principle as before where we're going to cut down to have a, an inner shoot being the uppermost. So um, that's how we're going to tackle it. Now you can see on this plant I've got a very tall stem sticking out to one side and that really does need to be cut back. I will make an initial insertion uh, just here, see if I can turn around so that I can show you. You may be seeing there that I've got a flower bud breaking there and a nice shoot just beginning to set off inside. So I'm going to cut that off there. Thus, I've cleaned the um, knife, by the way, to make sure it's nice and clean and free from pest and disease. Um, now there is a nice cut. I mean, that, that's a really nice shoot. I could use that for cutting material, uh, and I may do that. I'll think about doing that uh, in a moment. Uh, but we'll go on from there, and we'll see how the land lies after I've completed stopping this one. So we'll go on from there and I'll show you on the other side. Uh, I've completed this one now. This is actually a plant called Ainsdale Duke. It's quite a very strong, vigorous growing plant. But you may be able to see I've really had to cut this back hard in order to completely reshape it. And I think I've done that quite successfully. Um, this is a plant that uh, I really have had to chop into some of the stems quite hard and I've really given that now what I consider to be a nice rounded shape. I've actually stripped a, a fair number of the leaves off. Um, this is primarily because again I know the plant is very dry. I won't water that now for probably at least another week until I'm dead certain that these uh, cuts have dried out. Now. A lot of people, when they do sort of stick their plants back for stopping, they may put something on the ends, but I only ever stop if the weather's you know, really quite dry like it is today. And I will just let that stand and they'll seal over without any problems whatsoever. Uh, but as I said, it is a very open, nice dry day. I've got the glass house fully open and um, you know that they're going to heal off very easily and very quickly uh, so I won't put any any sort of uh, compound of any sort on those I'll just let that dry out and they'll be fine that'll be sealed by the end of today because I'm doing this in the morning now this plant is actually about 18 months old now and zonals are grown quite differently by a number of exhibitors some exhibitors tend to grow their zonals just purely on a sort of annual basis or maybe 15 months old. I generally like to grow my zonals on a sort of two year, 18 month to two year basis. This one is actually now about 18 months old. If I look at the date, I always date my labels. This is a September 2013 cutting. So I'm filming this in the middle of February 15. So. It's, it's, it's 17 months old. Um, so, you know, that, that's how I sort of like to grow them because you get some good strong stems. You've got to remember, certainly with the larger zonals, they've got to withstand a lot of weight on them. So the stems do need to be quite strong. But I do know a number of growers that do grow their plants, say take their cuttings in April, May, June of the year in order to show the, in the summer the following year. So it can happen. And I have actually got some younger dwarfs there that I will cut back in a moment in another video. So that's all for this one. That's the basic zonals.